we are having a lovely frozen rain day here in New York. So it's a good day to vlog because we're stuck inside. Just finished morning chores and um, I said on the hay game, it gets so warm while it's working. Um, I just finished morning chores and I'm going to tackle trying to clean up the baby horse Richie's mane today. Um, he has been doing so well with us. Uh, he's been mostly flat work, doing some lunging in the Pessoa with my coach Allie that he's her pro project, not mine. Um, but he's been doing so well with us. She's hoping to do some of the future event horse stuff with him later in the year. And um, he just started doing like cross rail type stuff. He's, he's got a little ways to go. He's so green, but he's coming along so nicely. Hey buddy. Oh, he's so cute. If I have some clips of him going on my phone still, uh, I'll sh throw some clips in here. No promises, but maybe. <laughs> His flat work has come such a long way. Um, he's already cantering like a real horse. Hi. And he's starting to figure out how to jump the cross rails. So I need to clean up this mane of his. It is long and unruly like a Western horse's mane. Hi, buddy. He's so friendly. Um, so I thought we would do that today. Now he is a super sensitive horse and I'm not actually sure if I've talked about how I do manes on horses that don't let me pull them before. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to chat about that. And then because it's a rainy, cold, frozen rain day, I'm gonna hopefully clean some tack. Yes, oh, thank you for the kiss. Thank you for the kiss. So let me get him out. Use my massive blankets. I have blankets everywhere trying to dry from the cold rain. Actually so glad oh boy, that I got Doppler a new waterproof blanket with all of this cold rain we've been having. Now Richie's still um, kind of new at the cross ties. So if he kind of steps forward and leans into them, just because he kind of has no idea what's going on. He's been a really good boy about it. He's just not fully used to where you're supposed to stand yet. Okay. Also, I don't know if I've used the stool around him yet, so he might be nervous about that too. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Buddy? Oh, good boy. You're okay. Do you want to smell the comb? You want to smell the, the GoPro? Yeah. Oh. I definitely got a little spoiled working with Prince because Prince was so um, just chill about literally anything. I forget that with some babies you have to like do everything so slow. So as you can see this is really long. Ideally I like all my manes to be not much longer than my hand. You can see my dirty fingernails, sorry. Um, so I want to basically chop this in half. Um, I'm only going to do a little bit today um, because I want my boss and the owner to see what it looks like cut the way I'm going to do it and see if she likes it. Let me brush it. I'm going to try to get a little closer. Hi, with the stool. Hello. And this part might be a little difficult to film. So when I'm going to cut it, what I like to do is, you're okay. It's all right. I'm just brushing. See how he gets a little fussy? 
it's just very sensitive skin so I pull it up with the comb like I'm gonna brush it and then from there I cut at like a 45 degree angle then I just go down the main that way and this is just a way to make it shorter but look a little bit more natural keep your head forward buddy um without just cutting it across I realize this may not be the best angle for you guys, but I need to, I need to be able to try to focus on this baby. I actually don't know how long he's going to tolerate this for, you know, he's only three. So I'm just going to try to move kind of quickly. Hmm. Thankfully his main leaves really flat as it is, the means that kind of stick up are usually the hard ones to cut evenly. And I'm gonna try to focus on just a section at a time. I'm actually gonna flip that part over so that I can stay focused on one area and we can compare cut versus uncut. The most time consuming part I find is actually picking the scissors up because you can't just have them in your hand at all times. My biggest problem with cutting hair is that horse hair doesn't lay straight down like human hair. So you could cut it while it's perfectly combed and then it won't you know, necessarily look good when their hair kind of lifts back up, you know? The other annoying part about cutting manes is I find it very time consuming because you're not just like chopping it off. Okay, so you can already see the difference. Um, it actually looks better than I thought it might. I'm going to, I'm going to switch the camera over. Hi, hi, no, keep dancing. I'm gonna switch the camera over to a time lapse. You guys can watch me do the rest. Okay, so this is how a uh, main I would cut would look. It definitely needs a little bit of touch-ups probably, but he's ready for lunch and probably needs a break. Um, so I'll probably play with it a little more <laughs> um, over time. But my biggest frustration with cutting mains is how they look from down here. As you get up on the stool, looks fantastic up here. When you get down at this angle, manes don't lay perfectly flat like human hair does. So they can kind of tend to look a little funny and as they flip and move around over time, it's gonna look a little different. So that's why I feel like when I cut manes, I usually have to fuss with it a few more times to get what I want as the finished product. And then even still, it can still look chopped. I didn't actually 
feel like I cut off a ton, but his mane is rather thin, so overall I'm happy with it. Like I said, I'll probably play with it some more, but I'm going to give him a break and feed everybody lunch because he definitely wants his lunch. Yes. <laughs> So I not only wanted to clean my jump tack today, but I also wanted to clean this half pad. So I have a Debaku felt half pad. This goes with my jump saddle um, for Doppler. It just helps lift up off his withers more. It has this nice little wither cut out. You guys are gonna laugh, but a dog peed on it. <laughs> And I've wanted to clean it, so I'm going to attempt to clean it with carpet cleaner today. I do not necessarily recommend this. I have never tried it before, so please don't necessarily take my advice. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I could totally ruin the pad. I have no idea. But it grosses me out that a dog peed on it, so that's what I'm going to do. So I have this Pet Expert carpet cleaner. And you can't actually tell that this got peed on. Like, it's not stained, but it just grosses me out knowing it. Oh, there it goes. Wow, I wasn't ready for that. Now, the part of this that I didn't really anticipate is the fact that carpet cleaner is supposed to vacuum. So I guess I'll have to, I guess I'll have to take this home and try vacuuming it out. I don't really know. Again. Do not try this at home. I have no idea if this will work or be a terrible idea. I'm only gonna do it on the top side. Obviously, I don't know if horses have sensitive skin to carpet cleaners, so. Oh gosh, I'm getting this everywhere. Do not recommend. Like this is potentially gonna be one of those fail videos where you're like, oh my gosh, how embarrassing. Anyways, it smells better now. I'm gonna let this dry. I guess I'm gonna take it home and vacuum it and I'll have to finish the vlog at home and uh, tell you guys how that goes because we don't have a vacuum here. As you guys know, if you follow the vlog, I oftentimes neglect my tack. I I don't hate tack cleaning. I just feel like it's one of those tasks that you have to be in the mood for. And it's like definitely a rainy day activity, which is why I feel like I often get into it when it's raining. I just got the saddle back couple weeks ago it needed to be restitched which I would say is my first disappointment from Devaku. I 
purchased this saddle um, less, no, about a year ago now. And um, I was disappointed that this flap stitching here had already come undone. So that was a little, little bit frustrating and discouraging, but um, not frustrating and discouraging that happened. Frustrating and discouraging that I've only had it a year and it happened and I had to pay to have it fixed, which was annoying. I am like big on customer service, so I feel like that disappointed me a little bit. I care a lot about company's customer service, and I feel like the fact that they made me pay for it, not less the fact that it happened, more the fact that they made me pay for it happened. Um, just disappointed me a little bit. Um, my bomb is looking a little funny today since it's so cold out, so I'm going to put, it's been out in the barn, I'm going to put it in one of the heated rooms, and then I'm going to come back to this later. I have to be a couple horses, and then I will actually pick up this vlog at home and give you the final report on my carpet cleaner <laughs> fiasco. If you research other ways, please let me know on how to clean things like that, because clearly I need good ideas. So, I will come back to you guys. Okay, I regret this decision to say I was going to wrap up the vlog at home, but to humor you guys, here I am. I'm going to vacuum my half pad now. <laughs> Well, I can at least have peace of mind. I scrubbed and vacuumed it. I can sleep well at night knowing that I at least attempted to clean it and it smells fine. That is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed me making a fool of myself. I'll see you guys next time.